Uh, hey guys, time for episode six of War Stories with John. This is where I tell a silly war story from overseas and uh, have to shoot intermittently throughout my story. So uh, the way this works, I got Levi behind the counter. Say hello, Levi. Hey guys. Yeah, and so as I'm telling my story, Levi's gonna be like, threat or gun, and I have to turn around and engage targets. Uh, and then I'll come back to my story. Kind of gives me a panic attack. Haven't run this in full kit for you guys in a war story, so this would be fun. A few administrative things. I'm not going to draw from this because this is my expensive uh, uh, defensive ammo right here, so I'll just be drawing from my belt. I can't shoot the steel targets with the AR. I have to uh, use 50 uh, meters for that. Thanks, shoot steel for the targets. Uh, the pistol, I will always be engaging the steel targets. The carbine, I'm going to constantly uh, be engaging the uh, center target here. When Levi says move, I have to move from one piece of cover to the next. When he says gun or threat, I have to respond and, and shoot. And when he says get down, uh, I have to get down quickly regardless of where I am in my shot sequence and find a new way to utilize that cover. Sound good? Speak up, uh, Levi. Gun! Right. Kind of went, got carried away with the carbine there. I'm like, man, I'm shooting a lot. Uh, and then I got down in the prone to sh take that shot. And I had the shot, uh, I had the shot, but if I had uh, done it, the legs of the, uh, the, legs of the barricade would have got shot off. So I didn't end up taking the shot there and I had to kind of readjust. Oh, I haven't even started my story yet. <laughs> Levi sucks at this because before I ever really get going at all in my story, He's like, threat, shot, and I'm out of bullets before I even really begin. So uh, here we go. So uh, I was over in Iraq. We were kicking in doors, uh, raiding palaces. Uh, we were in uh, Saddam's hometown, and we had just raided this beautiful, not his hometown, no, this was something, they all kind of run together. Um, so uh, we, we just raided this beautiful palace, and it was right on the Tigris River. Uh, and so I, I remember after just clearing all day, just taking down essentially a, a city, uh, we did what- Good! I did some stuff wrong in there, but uh, oh well. <laughs> uh, you can't plan, so you just kind of react to what the guns uh, happen, what's happening with the gun. I can't think about my story. I'm just all kind of amped up. So anyway, we had uh, just raided some palaces, and it was right on the river, and we just felt like, you know what? Let's cheat death today. So we just stripped down all of our stuff. I hope we had security. Looking back, this was so stupid to do, but it was really fun. So we shed all of our clothes, all of our kit and put it down on this dock and we all just jump into the Tigris River to start swimming around and there were things we were jumping off of doing big cannonballs and flying squirrels and swan dives and having a good old time but what we didn't know is the Tigris is named the Tigris because it's really really fast and dangerous so as we're swimming around kind of on this outer banks of the river uh, um, a few of us maybe three of us if I remember correctly got sucked out into the center of the river. Uh, so uh, uh, so um, this, uh, in the current, we had no idea just how strong- Gun!
had no idea how strong the current was, sucked us right out into the middle of this tiger. Since probably about a football field wide uh, at, at, uh, at this point where we got sucked out. And with it, before we could even really realize what was happening, we were swept maybe 100 yards already downstream, so we could barely see the other rangers playing on the dock. We had no guns, we had no equipment, we were wearing our just like ranger panty deals. Uh, and then 100 yards turned into 200, and then I guess 300. And uh, you know, somewhere in the middle of it, we're like, man, this is big problems. Put our heads down, we're all strong swimmers, and just uh, cut a right angle and just started as hard as we could, swimming for our lives toward the bank. Uh, after about 20 seconds of furious, and I don't know if it was 20 seconds, but just furious swimming, I lift my head up, the dudes back at uh, the bank are almost out of sight, and I have no- GUN! Move! So uh, we've made absolutely no pro I got carried away and started shooting the target with my pistol, and that's why you didn't hear steel ring. And I'm like, wait, I just got kind of fixed on it. <laughs> Gun! Come on! <laughs> there, I want to tell my story. <laughs> Let me tell my story, man. Uh, so um, anyway, we get sucked out. We're swimming as hard as we can, and uh, had no idea the danger we were in until finally the river cutting down takes a a hard left bank and allowed us just enough uh, so that we could uh, break out to the bank and then we're trying to link up with all of our buddies and we have no equipment and we realize man we are behind enemy lines here uh, and if somebody spots us we're just mostly naked rangers without any weapons running through frolicking through uh, you know <laughs> their backyards and whatnot so we're finally able to link up with the dudes just kind of ducking down and just jetting, sprinting down trails and trying to link back up. But that's the time where I almost drowned in the Tigris or I uh, got shot up in someone's uh... GUN! stories with John. Oh, I'm going to watch this later and be like, what were you thinking? That's terrible. That's wrong. So sloppy. So terrible. I'm going to post it anyway. <laughs> See you guys. Share this. See ya.